I'd better not stroke it. It might scratch me. Hi, who are you? Can't you tell? I'm Mr. Cool. And you're encroaching on my personal space. Where can I get a Shriedman port? What's that? An interface which allows humans to talk to computers. Like a mouse, you mean? No, it's a surgically implanted slot. Say, I've heard of those things. They give them to perverts, don't they? Are you a pervert? Certainly not. Well, you sure look like one. How can I get out of the city? Have you thought about defecation? Don't you mean defection? What? Isn't that what I said? I asked you about leaving the city. Not bodily processes. You're not making sense. And anyway, you can't leave the city. There's a restriction on travel. That sure is a smart coat. Yeah, cool, ain't it? It makes yours look like really shabby. Where I come from, it's the height of fashion. Oh, where would that be? The wild open spaces, where people know the true meaning of freedom. I'd sooner to die than dress like that. There are more important things than fashion. Only one I know of, and that's poise. And you've got the poise of a wildebeest on a waltzer. Great, that's positively pornographic. Naked people with extra parts. The things folk do for fashion. Welcome to Burke's Biosurgery. How may I help you? What services do you provide? A complete range of fash ops. From personal piercing to cosmetic transplants. Do people have ops to be fashionable? Certainly. Can you think of a better reason? What about medical purposes? Our clients are rich enough not to need medical treatment. Would you let me in for a fashion op? Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. Too bad. You should have booked. I want a Schwiebman port. Your name, please? Robert Foster. There's little chance of seeing the doctor. Why not? I have instructions not to disturb him. Unless you wish to pay cash, of course.
Do you think I need a doctor, Joey? We could both use an overhaul. I hope I can get that Schriebman port. You'll be lucky. I don't think they offer serious surgery. Try talking to that hologram, Joey. What for? I need to see the doctor. And she won't let me in. What shall I say to her? Use your natural charm on her. I've got an idea. I'll try the subtle approach. Hey, you! Open that door! I take my orders from Dr. Burke. I take mine from Oberman. Oh! Why didn't you say so before? Good grief. Excuse me. Don't make me jump like that! Sorry, didn't realize you were busy. Just practicing. I like to keep my hand in. But what can I do for you? I need a Schriebman port. Really? Do you have sufficient credit? All I've got are the clothes I'm wearing. In that case, you require the easy pay scheme. Yes, that sounds perfect. Kidney, lung, or testicles. What? what Which organ do you wish to sell? I'm not selling anything. No parts, no port. Send in the next customer. Excuse me. Maybe I wouldn't miss a kidney. I'll have to run some tests. Stand behind the scanner, please. Turn around, please. I can't use either of them. Why not? They're too good to sell at second hand. I'd have to overprice myself to be profitable. You make money by trading people's organs? What else would I do with them? Open a restaurant? Excuse me. I suppose I could spare a lung. Let's have a look at them first. On the scanner? Yes, please. Hold still, please. Has someone been experimenting on you? Why do you ask that? I've never seen a body quite like yours before. I'm afraid I can't use them. Is there something wrong? Tell me, Doc, I can take it. You're simply too healthy. Most bodies would reject your organs. Excuse me. I guess I've no choice, Doc. I'll have to sell you my... It's not as bad as you think. When I said I'd take your testes, I meant after your death. That's a great consolation. All I require from you now is your consent. Take a seat, please. Uh, do you use local anesthetic? Oh no! 
It doesn't hurt. Any more than having your ears pierced. In that case, I need a general anesthetic. You now have a Schriebman port. You may experience headaches, but don't worry, it's quite normal. Excuse me. Your receptionist certainly is strange. That's my wife you're talking about. You're married to a hologram? She wasn't a hologram when we wed. She died last year, but I decided to keep her. Doesn't the fact that she's dead distress you? No. She's a lot less trouble than when she was alive. Can you get me to ground level, Doc? I have my reputation to consider. If you're determined, you might ask my friend Willy. Just tell him I sent you. He has a rather special policy. I've had a bad knock on the head. Any after effects? Yeah, pain. Impairment of vision? I keep seeing flying saucers. Any dizziness? Yeah, I can hardly stand. You know, I get exactly the same myself. I wish I knew what causes it. Thanks again for the port, Doc. It's a pleasure to do business with you. Hello. Hi. You look like a man who needs insurance, yeah? Can I interest you in this? A rogue robot policy. I've never heard of that before. It's a safeguard against the possibility of your robot turning on you. Joey would never do that. Aha! So you think. Surveys show that 42% of all domestic droid owners are worried about the risk of attack. This is bullshit, Foster. Don't listen to that moron. Nasty temper that robot's got, yeah? Tell me more about the policy. All you have to do is sign a form. We'll do a probability estimate and give you the results next month. How come it takes so long? We have to strip the robot down and analyze each component. I do not want him handling my parts, Foster. Now I'm definitely not interested. Tell you what, take time to consider it, yeah? Can you help me get to ground level? Ah, what you need is travel insurance, yeah? Just to use an elevator? Hey man, those things are death traps, yeah? Our policy gives you cover for all elevator-related situations. Tell me more. You'll be covered against vertigo, injuries caused by faulty doors, fellow passengers with flatulence, what about being trapped in an elevator? I hate confined spaces. Well, I'm sorry, but that's your problem. Maybe a shrink could help ya. 
Why did you choose a career in insurance? With a name like mine, it was my destiny. I'm Billy Anchor, yeah? Bet that caused problems at school. It certainly did. No joke being first on the register, yeah? I want one of your special policies. Who sent you? Dr. Burke. The ghoul, huh? He is cool. So, how can I help you? Can you get me out of the city? It's dangerous. Are you sure you've got the balls? That's a delicate subject. Wait here. I have to make a call. Use your welder on that statue, Joey. What for? That anchor could be useful. I'm always ready for a spot of welding. And security have put a hold on comms. Seems there's a saboteur on the loose. Do you have a client called Overman? I'll check the computer files. Do you know the first name? Uh, no. Hmm. Do you know the address? Uh, no. Do you know what sex this person is? Well, presumably he's male. At last, we're getting somewhere. Now, what is his link status? I haven't a clue. Never mind. I'll try a search anyway. Name, Overman. Address, unknown. Sex, male, possibly. No, there's no Overman on my records. Do you have a client called Reich? Can't you get the information from Link? I need to know what policies he has. Right, huh? Uh, what's his first name? Oh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Thought you said he was your friend. I've got hundreds of Reichs on my files. Come on, Joey.
This could be the most stupid thing I've ever done.
So my real name is Robert Overman. But why does Link want me? And what's happened to my father? Seen anything of Obbins? What do you want him for? To mend the part in the power plant. Can't you fix it yourself? I wouldn't dare. Well, I haven't seen Obbins all day. He's probably busy. Yes? I'd like a few answers. Yes? How do I get down to ground level? Who is Overman? You can get information from the Link Terminal. Just who are you, anyway? I'm here to inspect the building. Yes? That's right, routine inspection. Yes? Heard anything about an inspection, Sam? What kind of an inspection, Norville? A routine inspection. Routine, oh? Whew. That's unusual. It's not convenient right now. Quit pestering me when I'm busy. Yes? I'd like to... Is this regarding a domestic incident? I've been transferred from domestics. I have this tendency to get emotionally involved. You're too sensitive, Sam. It's my nature, Norville. It's not about a domestic. That's a relief. Come on, Joey. No, Joey must have forgotten he'd changed shells. I hope his board isn't broken. Excuse me. Hold it. Your uh, membership card, please? I don't have one. This is a private club. Oh, I didn't know that. You do now. Peace off. How do I join the club? You have to be sponsored by an existing member. It's a most exclusive establishment. Frequented only by those with the proper credentials. You mean people with money? No, people with credit. There's a world of difference. People with money think they can afford not to care. People with credit know they can't, but don't care anyway. What goes on in the club? If I was to tell you that this club provides recreational facilities par excellence, for a clientele with elegance and taste, I'd be lying through my teeth. You just said it was exclusive. Oh, it is exclusive, but uh, seedy. The reason people come here is the cheap booze. 
and the fact that it's off limits to security. Smart shoes. Oh, thanks. You can tell a lot from a man's shoes. The design tells you what kind of man he is. The way he cares for them tells you where he's going. And what he's trodden in tells you where he's been. Do you know anyone who'd sponsor me? What about old widow Piermont? She used to come here, oh, years ago. If you chatted her up, she might sponsor you. I don't know Mrs. Piermont personally. Oh, you must have seen her with her dog. Mrs. Piermont is the one with two legs. See you later. Excuse me. Hello, darling. I don't believe we've met. No, I'm a stranger here. I'm Mrs. Piermont. But you can call me Danielle. Would you sponsor me for the club? Oh no, I couldn't do that. Why not? As you said yourself, you're a stranger. Why, you could be a terrorist. No, no, it's out of question. Excuse me. Do you know someone called Overman? Why, yes, I do. He worked with my husband, Professor Piermont. Why, are you interested in Overman? He was my father. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Overman's only son died in an accident. That was no accident, Mrs. Piermont. It was deliberate sabotage by security. My mother was killed, but I survived. And I've read a document which proves it. Incredible! Your mother was a great friend to me. If you're really Robert Overman, I'll sponsor you. Meet me at my apartment. Excuse me. I'll see you back at my apartment. Won't open. That's probably because it's locked. The oh, come to mummy, Spunky! It's an old trick, but it still works. Come to Hello! Who is this? It's me, Robert. Come right in, Rob! Welcome to my humble little home. You know, 
true. I remember you every baby, Robert. I've grown a bit since then. I'm sure you have. You must have so many questions to ask me. Yes, I have. What was the professor working on? Didn't I tell you? Helmut was the designer of Link. It was his dream, but he died before it was realized. Your father became the project leader. So my dad was responsible for Link? Yes. He stepped into Helmut's shoes. Link reached completion on the very day you were born. From then on, Richard changed. He spent more time with Link than he did with his wife and baby. Why did my mother try to escape? But she did her best to cope. But she wasn't the same after Richard's rejection. The authorities never approved of her marriage either. Because she came from Hobart. Eventually, she decided to return home. So the bastards had her killed. You're overall, Robert. Would you like some paracetamol? I don't want analgesic. I want answers. Is my father still alive? I've not seen him since my husband came. What a magnificent occasion. I wish I could have stayed until the end. You walked out of your husband's funeral? I had no choice. Poor Spunky hates cathedrals. All that incense and droning makes him bilious. No sooner had I got him outside than up came his breakfast. Who the hell is Spunky? My dog, of course. Now, where was I? Well, when I got back, they were all gone. Congregation, choir, coffin and all. Are you going to sponsor me now? No, well, that's what you want. I'll telephone the manager and make the arrangement. This won't take a moment. Is that Mr. Colston? Danielle Pierrot. I have a friend I wish to sponsor. If I pick up the bowl, the contents will slop all over my hands. It's full of biscuits and dog drool. What's through that door? It's off limits to the likes of you. I just wondered where it leads. It's the old cathedral. There's nothing interesting in there. In fact, it's empty. Why guard an empty cathedral? I'm not guarding it exactly. I'm just standing here. Preventing me from entering. Yes. Do you know the woman with the dog? Oh yes, that's Mrs. Piermont. The richest woman in Union City. And the ugliest. What's the best way out of the city? There isn't a way out. Then the inhabitants are no better than prisoners. That's the price of progress. Never mind.
Officer Blunt, come and help me, quickly! Just for a second you scared me, but you're only dummies. His skin is cold, like plastic. His skin is cold, like plastic. Oh no, not her, not Anita. Her skin is burnt and blistered. She appears to have been exposed to radiation. He doesn't have any eyelashes. There aren't any markings on it, or locks. Yo, that's horrible. Wouldn't you know it, it's locked. Hey, Lamb! What do you know about Anita's death? I don't know what you're talking about! The girl you sent to the reactor. She's been killed, Lamb. Look, I don't know out about murder. You might think I was hard on the last, but I had nothing to do with her death. 